What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Prime Energon, and today I am one step closer to completing my Bumblebee collection. We got Autobot Ratchet from the Studio Series 82 line from Transformers Bumblebee, the movie. So I know this is an older figure, but to me it is new, and I'm trying to complete this uh, this line of Bumblebee characters. So let's go ahead and get started with ratchet so here is the packaging of course everybody knows the packaging studio series 82 ratchet it is a deluxe class you get some nice artwork of ratchet over here on the side and you go on to the back you get some nice artwork of ratchet in his robot form and in his cybertronian alt mode which looks really futuristic and cool some more ratchet over here on the side Bumblebee, Transformers up top, and some stuff at the bottom. So going on over some of the details of Ratchet looking really good in my opinion compared to uh, the other guys. Pretty much a redeco of Studio Series uh, Ironhide from Transformers Bumblebee movie. Very nicely done with the detail and the paint and this sculpt on the chest looks really good. Definitely love this design, Travis Knight design of all of these Autobots and Decepticons from Bumblebee movie. They just look really good, giving us some G1 uh, aesthetics here, just looking really good. Taking a look at the chest, some nice red right here with that transparent plastic with a little Autobot symbol right there in the middle. Going on over to the arms, you get some nice gray right here along the side of the arms. A little bit of a darker gunmetal right here for the elbows. Some nice red up here for the shoulders. Again, going to that face sculpt, looking really good. With that silver and that red crest looking very nice. And those eyes, you do get a little bit of light piping on there. As you can see, very, very nice. And then going on over to the legs, looking really good. With that molding, you get some nice details right there above the kneecap. Some hollow spots on this side of the legs and on the inside of the arms. Does not look too great. You got some nice gray stripes right here on the chins. And some nice red. You get your faux wheel on the outside, which are actual wheel on the inside. Take a look at the feet. Looking pretty good and nicely done with that detail. Going on over to the back, nicely done again, but a lot of hollowness on the back of the legs, which is due to transformation, but I'm sure they could have figured something out for that. And here's the back with these panels. Again, nicely done, a lot of detail in there, so at least they did that okay. And taking a look at the back of the arms, actually looking pretty good. So going on over his accessories, all of these Bumblebee movies, they get really nice big guns and blasters on them they look really good this one is nicely done in this like brown color looking really good in this plastic no paint just a cast out of a uh, sort of like a grayish brownish plastic looking really good you can have this in his hand and this thing is absolutely massive look at that just looking really good when it comes down to their blaster is very intimidating for this whole Bumblebee lineup. Looking very nice. If you don't want to have them hold it, you do get these uh, this port on the back that this peg is going to go into. And you could store it on his back like so if you want to have him just displayed like that. So going on over articulation, let's go ahead and take the gun off. Head is on the ball joint, can go side to side can look up and down can go all the way around arms are on you go all the way around as well can go all the way out you do get a very tight bicep swivel and about 90 degree bend at the bicep no wrist rotation they can go in due to transformation uh, you get a waist rotation which is quite nice legs can kick all the way forward and all the way back with some nice range for doing the whole splits. They are a little loose though. Tried to tighten them up the best I could, but they are pretty loose. You get a little over 90 degree bend at the knee. So that's nice. You get a thigh rotation. 
and you get some movement at the feet. They can go in and out due to transformation and get a little bit of side to side motion on there as well. So as far as comparison and getting a group shot of the whole gang right here, here we go. We got we got Ironhide, Brawn, Optimus Prime. This is a KO Optimus Prime. Of course, Ratchet, we get Bumblebee. We got Wheeljack and we got RC all from the Bumblebee lineup. And that's not including my Decepticons that I got too. So very nicely done with all of them all lined up and the group is pretty much together now. I do need a uh, actual Bumblebee. So yeah, looking very, very nice when it comes down to the big group of Autobots. Really loving this line. It looks fantastic. So quickly going on to transformation for this guy. Actually pretty involved when it comes down to transformation. You're pretty much going to make sure the arms are straight. You're going to knock in the wrist and just tuck them inside. And then as far as that goes, just make sure the legs are straight. You're going to come on over to these back panels and open them up just like that. And just bring these out and bend the arms just like that. Bring these out and then you're going to open up this hatch which is exactly cut out for his crest. As you can see, pretty cool. All of this will come apart and just extend everything out just like so. And then you're gonna end up with something along the lines of this right here, which just looks a hot mess. You're gonna come on down to the legs, rotate all the way around for the legs. Do the same thing over here, rotate all the way around. And then you're going to want to knock in the feet. Pretty simple, pretty simple. You're going to bring the legs up and sort of just, you're going to bring this up and then you're going to bring the legs in just like that. And then you're going to swing all of this around and then bring the cockpit, which is going to be the front part of car mode. You get some blue tabs right here on the bottom. They're gonna go into these notches right there. Just snap that into place. Up top, you're gonna to get this tab that's gonna go right into that little hole right there. Snap that into place, come onto the back and snap this down. And then you're gonna to want to close in. Now this tab right here, this white one is gonna go into not the top notch but the bottom notch right in there and you could go sort of just uh angle them inward just like that at the same time and try to get it into that bottom notch or you could just do one side at a time whichever works for you sort of get this in there tab that in open up this door panel so you could see and Tab this in to that bottom notch right in there. Now going on over to the breast of this guy, the bottom of the arms, you get these tabs. They're going to go right into that area right there. Snap that into place, into place. You're going to bring the wheels down forward until they snap into place. Do it again. Booyah, and then snap these panels shut. And there we go for his alt mode. Looking very nice in his Cybertronian ambulance. Looking really, really cool. Taking a look at the detailed storage. You can put the blaster on top, which is really nice. But yeah, looking really good with this nice red striping on the side. It definitely looks like Ratchet, I think so. It looks a lot like Ratchet, looks really, really good. And here we go for a shot on the side. Top part cleans up pretty nicely. Love this whole detail. Sort of looks really, really nice for that front part. Nice wheels are on mushroom pegs. They roll around, okay? And it comes down to rolling around. It's a nice detail on the back, which there was, uh, wish there was a little bit more paint on the back. Here it is at the bottom, you can't see his head arms and stuff so yeah very nice when it comes down to studio series bumblebee 
Ratchet. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. That is quite all right. And I will see you next time here on Prime Energon. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Peace.